In this video, we're going to be showing you step-by-step -step instructions on hooking up a carrier mini-split system, coming up right now. Hey everybody, Rudy here from the Home Improvement Channel with another video to help you fix things around the house. Today we're going to be showing you how to hook up a carrier mini split. Um, I had to narrate some parts of this video because I was actually on the job and I couldn't take the time to uh, explain everything properly, so I'm kind of narrating as I go along. So excuse that and um, hope you enjoy the video. Let's get right into it. Okay, just getting started here. I pulled the bracket off of the back of the unit and uh, leveling it on the wall. You're definitely going to want to use a stud finder or some way to locate the studs. And if it was me, I would get uh, at least two studs uh, caught on those screw uh, holes there. Hello, this is W.S. Hare. Reality and TV, no? Yeah, we're doing it. Right. Hi, this is W.S. Hare. And we're going to show you a new product called Mighty Bracket. Mighty Bracket will save you from having two men to do the job when only one needs to do the job when you're installing these new mini split systems. Here's how they work. Uh, yeah, this is good stuff. Very easy installation. In your air handler, can sit on that and you can install it without another man holding up his hands saying I'm tired are you done yet and the pros of carrier is going to mess you up man yeah you're just going to want to remove these two screws right here and uh, kind of pop the hood on it so to speak so you can get to the electrical uh, connections on the inside yeah it had more screws in it or something it'll crack in no time yeah you'll see an access hole there where you don't want to see it, right? Hey, let me... Cut the wire, just the cable. That's right, and these are not what sheet metal snips are for. Also, you must use a redhead and VX cable that protects the wire. And now we'll go get the redhead. And in here, I'll take every precaution I can because we do not want to pull the unit back off the wall in any case. See, the red head is a little red piece that protects the wires inside the BS cable, the BS, BX cable. Could be BS. It could be a lot of BS if you don't put this in here. And then the wire wraps around and then goes around here to hold. That's old school BX. And there you have it. I'm just rolling out the line set. As you can see, it's 25 feet long, but uh, we didn't need nearly that much, so we wound up cutting it. 
is make sure you insulate the drain line in case it condensates inside the wall. This is the signal wire that goes between the evaporator and the condenser outside. Um, that's all that is. We're just feeding it outside. to cut and straighten this up a little bit because they cut it yeah you know, don't cut your fingers off let's see if we'll see if it locks in but see there's ridges on the drain the factory supply drain kit and there's ridges here so you push until it snaps together and you'll feel it there's no way once you get it together will it ever come apart in the wall, that's it. And then we'll put a wire tie on it too. Yes, wire tie after after the last uh, loop. All right. Yeah, these things have a lot of pressure in them. So when you uh, take those caps off of there, just kind of slowly let the pressure out. And uh, if you take the cap off, all of a sudden it's just kind of you know, it could shoot the cap into your face if you, uh, if you uh, were standing in the wrong spot. Wally, Wally was a mess. That's good. Oh. That's good. Okay, spray them on there. I don't see nothing at 200 PSI. Alright. By the way, we cut the line set and re-flared it so there was no uh, solder connection necessary. No bubbles, no troubles. I wanted to show this real quick. You'll need an adapter here for your gauges. They don't put a standard quarter inch gauge port on there. I don't know why, but they didn't. And we got the vacuum pump cooking right there. Yeah, I just wanted to get a little picture of this. That is the uh, black communication cable here. That goes to the evaporator indoor unit. And this one. It's your, your main cable going to the pullout like a standard air conditioner. All right, we got it running. It runs just beautiful. Um, just a note, the uh, line set is made for 25 feet. If you have to make it shorter than that, then you'll have to adjust the charge. But if you can leave the line set intact, then you won't have to fool with the charge. Right, let me go to show you the outdoor unit. Yeah, that clicking you hear is the gauge is sitting on top of the unit making a noise, so that's all that is. Back up so you can see the whole thing. Very nice unit. We actually wind up putting two of these in here. There's the other one down there. We did that one yesterday. A couple of guys. Takes about five hours to put in. They're not too bad. All right. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, click on the thumbs up and smash that like button. Share my video, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.